Hello, my young friends. I'm so glad we're able to spend some time together today. I hope all of you have had a good week and that you've been able to stay safe, happy, and healthy. Okay, today I have some things I want to show you. First of all, I have a pair of binoculars. Now these are small, I'll admit, because most binoculars are a lot bigger, but these are very powerful. So if I'm sitting outside and I see birds in the trees, but I want to take a closer look, I can use my binoculars and see their wings and their feet and when they fly off. So I can get a bird's eye view of the birds. I also like to take my binoculars to the beach so I can see the seagulls flying. I can also look out in the ocean and sometimes see boats that are out there. Those are usually shrimp boats. So binoculars bring things in closer. So if something's far away, you can see it. Now, I also have this. This is a magnifying glass. If I have a piece of paper that has teeny tiny print on it that I have a hard time reading, I can take my magnifying glass and I can read it. It makes things bigger and clearer, so it makes it easier to read. Speaking of reading, let's talk about the Bible. How many of you read your Bibles every day? Notice I'm a little hesitant in raising my hand. I try to read my Bible every day. But you know what? Reading is not the same thing as studying. Studying your Bible means that you take your Bible, you read it, and you really think about the scripture you're reading. You really try to understand it and get the true meaning out of it. The Bible isn't just broken down into the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is not just a history lesson. It's actually God's laws, and it teaches us how God wants us to live. The New Testament is wonderful because it teaches us about the life of Jesus and what he did for us and how much he loves us and his sacrifices. It also teaches us about the disciples and other people. So the Bible is very important, but you have to study it. You have to read not just read, but study and think about it. If I'm having a bad day and I want to go to a scripture in the Bible, I can go to my favorite scripture and read it and it will bring me joy. And that's because I have read it many times and I have studied it and I understand it. And you know, the Bible's great because it comes in lots of shapes and sizes. Now, you know, I have this big Bible that has really big print, so it's easy for me to read. But Bibles come in shapes and sizes. I even have an app on my phone that has a Bible. So if I'm in um, a study group or if I'm at church, I can look up a scripture very quickly and read along. So that's really cool to have a Bible app on your phone. There are even special children's Bibles just for you boys and girls. So if you don't have one, ask your mom or dad or a family member to buy one for you and study the scriptures. If there's something you don't understand, ask your parents to help. Ask them to read the Bible to you as well. So in order to be better Christians and to live like God wants us to live and to be the example of Christ, we need to study our Bibles. Okay, boys and girls, let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your word so that we can study and learn how to be better Christians and more like you. Thank you for your blessings. We love you and we love your son. Amen.